Hi guys, Rose here with the Cackling Moon. Um, this is going to be a video all about my current favorite Oracle decks. Um, I wanted to put something else out there that is not a client reading. <laughs> um, and please excuse the voice, I am sick. So if you can't stand a scratchy voice, please don't watch this video because <laughs> it'll only get on your nerves. Um, so please bear with me if I cough, if I clear my throat, whatever. Um, <clears throat> please excuse the messy room. <laughs> I really need to like, really, I wish I could flip, flip over, like flip over, flip the camera so that you could see the gorgeous setup that I have. But unfortunately, it's, I don't have anything behind me, as you can see. <laughs> so I don't have anywhere to like plant the phone. Um, so I can't film. So you have to see like the mess behind me. Um, okay. Let's put this down just a little bit. All right. <clears throat> so I wanted to show you guys my current favorite Oracle decks, like the decks that I am absolutely obsessing over. Um, I just, I've, I've, I've actually <clears throat> added a couple new ones to my collection. Um, but there's also a couple that are like tried and true. Like I just can't get over them. Obviously psychic tarot is one of them. Now I know that the name of it is tarot. It's a tarot deck. Yes. I'm wearing shorts by the way. <laughs> it looks like I'm not, but you know, <laughs> Anyway, Psychic Tarot, it has tarot in the name, but I actually read it like a, um, like an oracle deck. So it's a really simple deck to use. Um, it's, it has, the reason why I call it an oracle is because it has like the little phrases on the bottoms of the cards. It also has chakra cards. Um, but this deck has been with me for about probably the very beginning of my journey. So it's about four or five years old. Um, but it is actually a very intuitive deck for me. I did not like the artwork when I first started working with this deck, um, but it really grew on me. So if you're looking for a really easy Oracle deck, tarot deck, whatever, it's technically tarot. It just does not have the court cards. So whatever you want to call it. Um, but if you're looking for something really simple to work with, Especially if you're a beginner and you were like stepping into the realm of Oracle decks. This is one I would recommend um, There we go. <laughs> I feel like it's so high like I don't know whatever The Oracle I mean the the universal mind Oracle This deck um, there's actually I think there's like a second edition out already this is the first edition of this deck. Um, I purchased it off of a, it was like on a Kickstarter type thing. This deck is so intuitive. I love the card backs. Um, I'm really attracted to pyramids or triangles or whatever. Um, I love the card backs. These cards are magical. It's very intuitive. They have a little um, keyword at the bottom. The imagery is like, it's photography. Some of it is kind of collage-y. Um, but they're beautiful cards. And I use this a lot in client readings about spiritual journey. This is like a go-to deck for spirit guide readings. So if you guys, um, you know, want to work with spirit guides or work with like receiving messages from a spirit guide, um, I totally recommend this deck. I love it. <laughs> and that is the Universal Mind Oracle. Uh, Crystal Angels. This one <coughs> is by Doreen Virtue. Not really a fan of Doreen Virtue, but this deck is gorgeous. Um, it's beautiful. If you love crystals, this is a deck to have. If you love angels, this is a deck to have, but if you are just like me and you're just into the aesthetics of stuff, the card backs have an angel. It's like a nice indigo color and the cards themselves are gorgeous. This is Azurite. So it has a picture of the crystal. It has a little, you know, a little thing on the bottom about it. Um, 
really beautiful imagery in these cards. See? <laughs> they are a little bit glossy, as you can tell. But they're so fun to work with, especially if you're into crystals. Um, I like to use this kind of a deck for like an added bonus. So <clears throat> let's say I'm doing like a full-blown tarot reading for a client. And then I pulled some oracle cards for like insight. This would be like maybe an advice card. This might be like what kind of energy are you currently bringing to the table? You know, because when you think about the crystal, it works. You're working with a certain type of energy. This could also be good, like a good advice card um, or a good card to pull like, okay, let's see what kind of crystal or what kind of energies you want to work with this time of, you know, in your reading. So these are really cool cards to pull. Beautiful, colorful. <laughs> and I love crystals. So to me, it's, um, I don't know, it's just a, like a fun one to have. Not a fan of Doreen Virtue, but I do love um, some of her decks and this is one of them. Angels of Atlantis. This deck I've had for a few years. Um, I really like this one because of the, just like the vibe of, um, like spirit guide vibe. If my spirit guide had a deck, like this might be one of them. Um, it goes into some of the angels, okay? So if you're not an angel person, eh, you may not like it. The artwork is really nice. But I love that it's just, it has a key word. And again, it's intuitive. Um, but I don't know, I just, I find this to be so helpful, like I said, with spirit guide readings or um, <sighs> your spiritual journey, okay? A lot of the Oracle decks that I'm showing you guys right now are really good for spiritual journey readings, which is something that I've been really big on right now. I love to do love readings for clients, but when I'm reading for myself, I'm almost always reading about my spiritual journey or my tarot business. So these are the decks I've been really attracted to lately. So that is Angels of Atlantis Oracle Cards. Mystical Shaman Oracle. This one was really um, popular when it first came out. I don't know how people are, you know, if people are liking it now, but <laughs> I know I do. So these are the backs, really pretty. Very matte finish on the cardstock. And you have gorgeous artwork. Definitely you need the guidebook for this deck. You cannot read it without it. The guidebook is amazing, okay? Like I said, this is another major spirit guide, spirit journey reading kind of a deck, okay? It's also a healing deck. I have found that when I am learning about myself, my energies, what I need to focus on, um, my spiritual path, when I need an image to focus on when I meditate, this is a deck that I like to pull from. It's gorgeous. So, <laughs> I don't know. I, there's just something about it. It's very healing. I very rarely read for other people with this deck. This is actually one of the ones that I like to keep for myself. Um, so, I don't know if you guys do that. If you have like certain decks that you like to just keep for yourself or whatever. But that's one of them. The chakra reading cards. This one is a favorite. I love to use this one for my in-person reading. So when I have clients that I'm meeting up with in person, and um, especially if it's the first time that I'm reading for them, I love to bring the chakra reading cards because these are so on point. It gives me an idea of the kind of energy that my client is you know, bringing to the table. It gives me an energy to, to read off of. It's like an icebreaker kind of a deck. Um, it comes with a nice juicy guidebook, which I'll be honest, I really don't use. I, it's completely intuitive. And if you are very familiar with the chakras and the colors and energy and all of that, you really don't need it. But the cards themselves are associated with the colors of the different chakras. You have a keyword at the bottom. The image itself kind of like sparks your intuition. Um, it's beautiful. It is one of the most accurate decks that I have <laughs> when I read for clients. Um, but it, this is a favorite for 
in-person readings. So if you're reading for someone that you've never read for before and you want to like break the ice or you kind of want to get an idea of their energy, I recommend color cards or chakra cards. Those are really good. Um, also, if you're reading for like um, the future or like the, the energy of a situation or the energy of another person, chakra cards I, I recommend are really fun to, to use for that. So it's really cool. I also offer like a spiritual health reading and these are ones that I use all the time. So <laughs> chakra reading cards um i found these randomly at, at barnes and noble one time never seen the deck before it wasn't it's not a popular one but when i saw it at barnes and noble i was like you know this is really intriguing and i'm glad i bought it because it's i use this all the time the work your light oracle oh my god this is a favorite right now <laughs> i am so obsessed with this deck the guidebook is beautiful the cards are beautiful. It's matte cardstock. It's like almost, it's like a, an affordable version of what the Star Child Tarot would be like if the Star Child Tarot was an Oracle deck. It's, they're, oh, they're so beautiful. You have extraterrestrial energies in this reading, in this card, in the cards. You have um, a lot of like Christ or Mother Mary energy as well. Um, it's very spiritual, star seedy. But it's also, it, it also brings like an element of um, tarot into it too. As there's one of the cards reminds me of the, of the tower card or the fool. Um, this is priestess. It's very starseed. So if you're into the universe, if you're into space, if you're into spirituality, new age, this is a must have. It's beautiful. And um, I do recommend using the guidebook with it, but it's also super intuitive. I have done love readings with this deck. I have done spiritual journey readings with this deck. Um, when I'm reading just for myself, you know, it's it's an overall deck that like you you'll be surprised with what kind of um, messages you get from it. Look how beautiful! So this is just definitely a favorite. <laughs> so. That is the Work Your Light Oracle. And last but not least, my most recent deck in my collection, the Divine Feminine. This one, everyone was like posting it on Facebook. I had to get a copy because I just couldn't believe how, how gorgeous the cards are and how like in touch with your femininity it, it brings you. I freaking love it. Um... I don't know. There's just something about it. Uh, <laughs> it's like hard to pull them out. The guidebook is beautiful. It's a chunky, nice chunky guidebook. So must have. Um, oh, oh, they smell like brand new cards. Um, the backs look so gorgeous. It's like beautiful reds and golds, which are so like royal. Um, but it also reminds me of like the vagina <laughs> I don't know how else to say it so it's just so like feminine so powerful freaking love it and you have so many deities that are from different religions and faiths um, powerful women it's beautiful I haven't even read sometimes I when it's like decks like this when there's like certain people I love to read the guidebook just to see like read a little bit about them but I haven't done it yet. <sighs> so it's, the imagery is actual people, like real photo, but I feel like it's so nicely done. I don't know, there's just something about it. So look at, Ka look at Kali. <laughs> if you're not into like real people's faces, like, you know, photography in your cards, you may not like it, but I don't know. How can you not? How can you not? Look at Lilith. Gorgeous. <sighs> What's another one? Fatima. Little 
love Fatima. So, I don't know, you guys. I, I really like this one, too. Um, this is another one that I've only been using just for myself. Maybe one day I'll pull for a, for a client. But I really feel like this deck is more intimate. So, it's it's been one that I work with on, on the moons. Um, so, I definitely used it for the moon reading that I did for myself. But, yeah. So those are the Oracle decks that I am currently in love with. They are my favorites right now. Um, if you guys are, you know, thinking about purchasing any of them, I highly recommend. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below and I will do my best to get back to you. Um, but like I said, Oracle decks, you can read Oracle by themselves or you can add them to your tarot reading. So, you know, you could switch it up a little bit. But these are my faves right now, like in the present. <laughs> they may change in the next month or so, but these are the ones that I'm pulling for, especially for myself. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you for putting up with the voice. And I hope that you, um, you know, you're having a beautiful, amazing journey of your own. And um, comment below, tell me what decks you are currently, you know, obsessing about as far as Oracle decks go. We'll see you guys later.